So I really like this one just because it's such a mood for children. Um, and it's called Where Does the Teacher Sleep? Story by Kathleen Gibson. Illustrations by Christine Dillard. Here she is in a comfy robe with a puffy pillow and a nice blue blanket. Mm-hmm. Blue blue. Her teddy bear's got a cap. She got fuzzy slippers. She is ready to go sleep sleep. So this is a seedlings book. Seedling Publications Inc. Here's the ISBN for it. It's got a nice little night night size. And this is from one of those um, secondhand school books we got. So, again, the title Where Does the Teacher Sleep? Story by Kathleen Gibson. Illustrations by Christine Dillard. A technical direction by Robert Salem. Published by Ceiling Publications, um, which is in Columbus, Ohio. So it's the first edition, 1994. So, do you sleep in the classroom? So there's books and a teddy bear and little nappy mats that you can sit on. I like the caterpillar and the butterfly. It goes... Looks like... Alright, so we got the three, Goldie, the three bears and Goldilocks. Not sure who the girl is, if she's anybody specific. Looks like this is the reading nook and the ladybug. I think it's so lovely how books have a tendency to really just show you books in a, in a good favor. Like people who like books in a story, in the story you're reading, if they say so-and-so likes to read, that's what we call shorthand, which is to say something symbolic um, to show that someone's a good person. Ooh, look, Humpty Dumpty. Humpty Dumpty sat in the well. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty back together again. No, I don't sleep in the classroom. So is that where... <laughs> so here, <laughs> like all the students are like, what are you doing, Miss Teacher? Teacher. All right. Do you sleep in the office? Well, that's that's how <laughs> that's how Mama Monster feels at work sometimes. And I think this is kind of interesting that they have here's an old style phone with the desk phone, and then they have like a key a typewriter or word processor. They used to have electronic keyboards on typewriters like this. So it's um, obviously not a computer screen, but they would just type in it. I learned how to type on it. One like that. Just type right here. No, I don't sleep in the office. Oh my goodness, that phone came alive and is attacking her. Ah! That's some nightmare stuff there. Do you sleep in the gym? Well, look, she's in balls, the box of balls. Oh, they even still have the retirement rope. Do you think the teacher sleeps in the gym? No. Not seem like a comfortable place. No, I don't sleep in the gym. <sighs> oh, she's kicking all the balls everywhere. And she's pulling the rope to get out. She's stuck. Oh, no. Oh, she's wearing her day clothes. Where do you sleep? Well, I don't know. Does she actually sleep? Because she's looking pretty tired. Oh. <gasps> I sleep at home in my bed. Oh, look, she's even got a little white kitty cat. Oh, that's a picture of maybe her students. How nice. So, yes, teachers are just like adults. That you know, they sleep at home. They don't sleep at school. They go to school and work. So, if your mommy and daddy have to leave and say that they need to go to work, that's what your teachers do. They have family at home, too. Alright, and that's the end. Just a short little sweet book. Where does the teacher sleep? Hmm.
in a house. Ta-da! <laughs> uh, I hope you enjoyed listening. Thank you so much for doing that. And you have a great time.